Hello and welcome back to The Witcher. We have arrived in the outskirts of Vizima and we're just basically going to go have a look around, see what's going on in the town, maybe do some quests if that's the thing that we want to do. There's a herbalist here. Now one thing we didn't do last time is go back into the inn because it's morning time and there are a few extra people here who we want to talk to. So, in here we want to talk to the antiquary. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Okay, well, we don't really care about this. Well, we can we can ask about Bad luck. the city. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. All right. Uh, show me your wares. So basically, he sells boots. But the nice thing is, we can actually... Oh, we should read this. So there's the Book of Swallow. Interesting. Also tells us about Necrophage Oil. But what we can do is we can then sell him these things we've already read because we get to keep the things like we get to keep um, like the knowledge of them. So if we sell him these for a small price, um, we actually have a couple of books to swallow that we can sell him. Nice. That's not letting us sell it, is it? Double click to sell item. Oh, I thought we could just sell it by dragging. Oops. Uh, yes. So we'll sell him a couple of these books. Yo, ideally we want to um, buy all of his books by the end of this, but we don't quite have the money yet. So that's fine. We'll have the money soon. Right. Uh, anybody else who's new here? I don't think we need to speak to anybody else. Here's the fist fighting. Um, we'll leave it a little bit until we're. I mean, there's no reason to do it right now. We could uh, like level up a little bit and then go and do it. Just. Because might as well just get the money. Because you have to actually bid money in here. So, anyway. Wait, was that? Ooh, barrel. I'm sure I saw some different stuff in here, which is fantastic. I'm to it someone. And crate, I think, was the one I saw far away. Any more loot? No. Okay. This place stinks. Uh, was there some more loot back here? I didn't actually check. Yeah, there is. There's uh, some flint. Yeah, I'm glad sure. we came around there for the flint. Day, so perhaps. useful right now. You fight like really. a anyway, hello, Lou Varden. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Lou Varden, merchant. Of those Lou Vardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately, my friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. Sure. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. I will not play dice. Okay. Sure, I'm broke. Well, we can go and help uh, Luvarden at some point if we can find where his companion is. Okay, cool. Well, anyone else we need to speak to? A dwarf. A dwarf will speak to him. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down. I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Oh, good. He did sp uh, stop talking. Um, so, who is the Scoyotel? Well, I know, but, like, let's hear him who say it. Who is the Scoyotel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels. Called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Oh, okay. Um, would I find any Will around? I find here? any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. 
Let's talk about something else. Yes. Um. So why do people not like non-humans? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Um, Let's weapons. talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll look, I'll for, look some around for some more. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly uh, legal, but uh, I really need the gold. Mm, do we want the sword grease? Well, I'm not sure what it is. You know what? We'll buy it. This we'll grease it. improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Listen. I'm listening. What am I meant to be hearing? He definitely said listen. Like we're going to find out something. Anyway, let's see what the grease does. Oh, there's a blade coating that causes crippling pain to wounded creatures. Interesting. So it's oil. Now, I don't know if that's one use or not. If it's one use, that's going to be some Damn problems. Thirsty. But if it's not one use, then that's a really good purchase we just made. I mean, it might be a good purchase anyway. If we find, like, um... What can we pick? We can pick plants. It's a great day. So basically, we can start picking some of these green plants. Uh, but yeah, if it's not one use, it might be alright if we're fighting something that's specifically against... Um, we we cannot pick unknown herbs. That's a problem. Um, but yeah, it might be useful against something that's uh, specifically weak to bleeding. That's what I was getting at. Unknown herb. Oh, hello. It's a dog. Hello, dog. What's up with you? Hey, come back here. Come back here, dog. Where are you going? Hey, what's up? Nope. And he's gone. Into the doghouse. Well, that's fine. Uh, I happen to know, just from remembering, that we can't, we can't actually do anything in that house till we uh, pass another part of the quest, like quest line, so we're just going to ignore it for just now. But we'll be back. We'll be back. Don't worry. We're going to have to complete everything in this area to get the XP, so... No, that's fine. We got... Ooh, cat. That's nice. Oh, we already picked up that cell, indeed. Can't pick the same plant twice. That would just be ridiculous. Right, which way do we want to go? Um, well, the reference over here, what we could probably do is we can probably do a loop of the town like that and then end up uh, back here. Right. Hello, children. They scarce folks, so they pay themselves. This is boring. Good to know. Uh, can't go in here. We go in this bit. Yeah, abandoned house. So, can we steal stuff in here? Oh. Oh, well, this is an unfortunate place to be. Anyway, we can steal stuff. That's good. Outskirts of the Zima. Let's cross across here and steal some more stuff. Uh, anything in here? Ooh, clothing rack. We got a red shawl. Okay. Could be useful. Maybe. Right, uh, where do we want to go? Along this way? Wait, we've been to both of these houses. Along this way. I got turned around a little bit there. Okay. Eternal Fire Shrine. Don't think there's anything we do with that yet. Oh, Royal Huntsman. Hello. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I would guess he knows us by the large sword on our back. Although we should have two of them for a witcher. Anyway, uh, I'm looking work? for witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witchers do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Okay. 
Did the peasants people? say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. Okay. Crypt. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. Let's see. Uh, how much money do you make on a typical job? How much job? do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Take care. Okay. Right. You might be suggesting that it's much easier. I would hope the nice way of taking that is that he thinks it's much easier for us, so... You know, because it doesn't take as much effort. We don't get paid as much. But maybe you're suggesting something else. I'll take it the nice way just now. Um, right, where are we going? Oh, interesting thing to point out. Just an odd quirk with the game. Uh, if I was to say... Oh, we can't do it right now for some reason. But yeah, if you take out your weapon, you can just randomly attack people. I believe at night you can do it. Maybe it's only at night you can take your... Maybe you can't get attacked in the daytime. That might be it, actually. But yeah, um... Oh, weird monkey-like creature. Anyway. But yeah, you can take your weapon out and go and attack people. If you want to. There's no, like, there's no downside to doing it. It's just... Like, apart from the fact that it seems a little bit odd. Ooh. Half-eaten corpse. I added dagger on him. I'll take the uh, six orange, so... Uh, double click. You can't uh, click and drag. Need to remember that one. Ooh, a silver amber ring. I mean, we'll wear it, but uh, we'll probably sell that for some money. Nice, nice. What have we got across here? Locked. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll ignore the children for just now and uh, carry along up here. Ooh, a place of power. Nice. Uh, it's also, we're on path to cave. Uh, ooh, there we go. Place of power. So apparently we can change what we have our um, Witcher's Medallion, like, detecting. It doesn't say where we change that. It just says we can change that. Um, is that over here? Let's quickly check that. Which medallion? So, um, open the inventory. Okay. So, open the inventory. Can't seem to change it here. Maybe that's a holdover. This is like, um, like this is extended edition, director's cut, whatever you want to call it. I think they call it both of those. So it could be that they removed it and now you just detect both at all times. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Anyway, place of power. We would very much like to perform the ritual of magic. Okay. And what's that down the bottom right hand corner? I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Anyway, we performed the ritual of magic. I think that got us some XP, which is nice. And then there's a place of power all the way along here at the end. Right, so run down here. Grab the place of power. Ooh, Celandine. Grab that as well. But yeah, place of power. That gets us our Ard sign up a little bit. Nice. Oh, we got a second buff there as well. We got the ritual of magic. So that gives us sign intensity. I thought it gave us XP, but I guess it just gives us sign intensity. It's not the best thing ever. And well, that's another half-eaten corpse. Well, that's a fully eaten corpse to be looking at it. We got tulips. We got orange. We'll take all of that. The reason why it's saying our in inventory is full is because we already have a dagger, therefore we can't pick up another dagger. Fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, that corpse had a lot of stuff on it. That's a useful corpse. Uh, we probably want to sell stuff at some point. We're, we're really, like, filling up. Ooh, another uh, dead body. Okay, cool. Well, we probably want to sell a few My of our useless things. Bigger. We do have some useful, useless things with us. It's just telling us... Absolutely nothing, actually, but um, what it should be saying is this is the way to uh, the main village part. Uh, what have we got? We've got unknown much. herbs. Okay, we've got a couple of people. Um, can we go into their houses? We can. Nice. Oh, hello there. Um, I'm just here for a little inspection of your barrels. Thank you. 
Uh, glad I could, uh, yeah, your barrels seem to be fine. Nice and empty. Oh, I also do chest inspection. No, that, that could be taken wrong. That, that, that could definitely be taken wrong. Right, um, let's head over here. Oh, old, old lady. Now, these are very useful in the game because they know stuff. Your kind's not welcome here. Well, old lady, I know your secrets. I would like to give you a chicken sandwich. That's different. What can I tell you about? The local herbs. herbs. The fruit of the berber can be lethal if wrongly prepared, but its juice assuages the insane. Interesting. I believe that means we, yeah, we now know about the ingredients uh, from that plant, so we can now actually helpful. use that plant. Thought you were a Hello. Bandit. Oh, that must be the same. Wait. Not Hello? much more to My say. My last cow Hello? died. The plague hasn't even spared animals. It hurts. Maybe we have to go inside and outside before we we'll get them to say anything else. I do a little reset of them. Hello. You look like you're here to steal stuff before I got here to steal stuff. Anyway, that, that, that stuff's ours. Wardrobe. Ooh, swamp monsters. We'll take that. It means we can read the swamp monsters book and we can sell it later. So describe swamp, swamp, swamp monsters. The drowner, the drowned dead, the blue zuger. It, it also provides information on fighting them and alchemical ingredients that can be obtained from them. Nice. So, if we go up here... Uh, we one know all the ingredients, which is nice. Just remove anything talking about those. We go to monsters. Bloodzuger. So uh, we would use strong style and we can use group on them. That's nice. The Bloodzuger, a grotesque monster from the swamps, causes terror amongst peasants because it pours a digestive juices over the wounds of those who are still alive and then dines on their half digested intestines. Oh, lovely. And then we got the Drowned Dead, who um, we would use fast style and group style on, same as Drowners. And particularly strong and dangerous, Drowners are known as the Drowned Dead. Simple people see no difference between a Drowner and a Drowned Dead. Encountering either of them is equally deadly. We might suppose, though, that the most gloomy legends concerning uh, concern the Drowned Dead rather than I'm Drowners. I'm mad. Okay, fair enough. Right. My last Hello, cow old died. Lady. The plague hasn't oh, you're not an old lady, animals. you're... you're a they beggar. say abandoned Hello? houses became monsters. Oh, you're also a beggar. My quiet. cow needs Hello. None may say Okay, we need to find an old lady who isn't one of those old ladies. Uh, did we get all the houses there? I think we've been to all the houses there. Yeah. Or at least all the ones that were open. Uh, I'm looking for plants, which is why I'm kind of running off the road here. It's another unknown herb. <clears throat> okay. Uh, in here? Right, anything else? Uh, we have another old chest. We'll grab that. Hello, people. Grab that stuff. Leave that building. Ooh, right. Uh, hello. Leave us be. I know your weakness, old lady. Would you like a chicken leg? That's different. What can I tell you about? The herbs. local herbs. Hellebore is equally common. Its petals are used to make a tonic for insomnia. Nice. Now that should mean that we now know about this. Is this not Hellebore? These hmm. peasant women have no shame. I guess not. Oh, well, that's a shame. I thought that that gave us the... Maybe that isn't Hellebore. Or maybe we have to go inside and outside again, like some other things. Not sure. Ooh, a chicken sandwich. Another one. We just got uh, rid of our last one. Okay. Leave here. Sometimes you need to go inside and outside for things to register in the game. Nah, still unknown herb. That's unfortunate. I guess we know the ingredient, but don't know the herb itself. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, we'll continue giving old lady stuff. So it's useful to know the uh, I don't different stuff that they know. Hello. Uh, well, given that we're full on our inventory, we might as well give away the chicken sandwich so that we're uh, we have an extra space. That's different. What can I tell you about? Uh, herbs. Balise is a common fruit bush. Its fruit is poisonous unless soaked in alcohol. Afterwards, it can be used to make medicine. Oh, that must be what that, that one is. Maybe we can go over here and 
Ah, wait, no. Ah, uh, still unknown herb. I guess it's not that either. Or if it is that, we can't, you know, we can't pick it. That's fine. Uh, inside this house. Uh, okay, what we got? We have a cupboard. We'll grab a ch another chicken sandwich. Right, head out. And we can head along to the town. Nice. Ooh, saladine. Definitely grab all the saladine that we can. Just while we're passing. Nothing there. Your hair's Hello, like milk. Boy. How come? Why are you following me? You look like you're about to steal something from me, small child. Right, uh, along this way. Ooh, cutscene. Stop. Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We gotta check. What's that? Eh, uh, chip. Well, deep. well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. Still have that small child following us. Okay. Anyway, we're allowed into here. Hello, people. Uh, can we go into these houses? Yeah, Vesna's grandmother's house. Oh my. Right. Let's have a look around here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. We have a trunk with some stuff in it. We cannot steal her vodka. I, mean, I kind of want to steal her vodka though. Um, we could just use the grindstone or something like that. I'm trying to think what we could use to... Well, you know what we could do? We could uh, identify what our unknown potion is. And that would probably be something. One of the ones we forgot about. We already know about Blizzard and White Gull, though. We have this unknown potion. It's only going to get one of them, though. Um, we should take it anyway. Just because we can. Uh, nope. Apparently we can't take it right now. Presumably because it's day, maybe. Um, does that swallow stack? It does. Nice. Now we can take another one. Inventory management. Super fun. Something Hello, Something must have happened to her. What, Vesna? No, I saw her. She's fine. Right, cross here, mm, nothing in that shed, okay, uh, anything else that we can steal? Not really, what about in here, the chapel? Locked. Oh, hello Revenant, er, uh, or Reverend. Be gone, devil's breed! Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts. For it has been said that though his soul be in darkness and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily. For he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you 100 orans. Very well. But the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. All right. Well, um, can you tell me about your drowner? Contract? I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I'll return with proof. Hurry. Uh, we have more to talk about. Speak quickly. Uh, are you a are chaplain you? of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen. Only the eternal fire can save us from the white frost. Really? So says the prophecy of Ithlene, the elven witch. Is that so? The old world will die, to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, witcher? So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? Um, well, let's be sarcastic. The eternal fire, no doubt. 
Return to your dark life, heathen. Uh, but actually, I want to ask one more questions. thing. Speak quickly. Um. Okay. So. Salamander. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity. And yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel and Haran. Can you solve their problems too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Haran a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. Nice, we got a ring. So basically what we can do now is we can talk to these people, which is why I didn't want to go and talk to the person earlier, because there was no point. Wait, did we receive the ring? Dropping received item, ring of the eternal fire? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Freak or not, you may prove Where did we drop it? Where, where did we drop it? Here's, there it is, it's right there. Okay. I think we can probably give up the chicken to have the quest type. There we go. Perfect. Well, we gave up our chicken, we got a quest item, and it's time to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.